Get all your football news as it breaks with Football Flash. How are we doing guys? Welcome to UFF Daily, sponsored by Football Flash. So first piece of news we're going to get into involves Jurgen Klopp. Um, in Liverpool and obviously with that time of year, people are asking about transfers in January. Um, and Klopp has come out and uh, said that he don't feel that that's possible at the moment. Um, I know that most managers do kind of say that. Um, but, you know, given Liverpool's position and whatnot, if they can strengthen in any area, they feel there's a weakness, then I'm sure they will do that because this is one of their best chances in a very long time to win the Premier League. Um, and like I said, given the fact that they are currently top of the league, um, you know, going in towards the new year kind of says that, yeah, they want to stay at that level because they don't want to pick up any injuries or anything like that along the way. So um, Jurgen Klopp is definitely keeping his cards close to his chest. And yeah, I don't doubt that, you know, they're kind of interested and maybe if someone comes along that can improve them, they will... Uh, make a move, but we will wait and see. Um, Jose Mourinho, of course, the press have been trying to speak to him um, and he's been doing a few little bits and pieces and interviews since he's left Manchester United or was sacked from Manchester United, should I say. Um, but he's basically turned around and said that he doesn't want to discuss Manchester United. He doesn't want to, you know, show any form of disrespect or anything. He's got so much admiration and time for the fans. Um, what he has turned around and said is that, you know, Manchester United will continue after him and he will continue after them um, so it's very you know evident that he's looking to get back into management how soon that will be will be quite um, interesting will he stay in the Premier League uh, will he try and stay in the Premier League um, who would want him given the problems that he's had um, at Manchester United and of course before that at Chelsea um, or could he move abroad and you know try new new things in a new league maybe or even go back to Spain so interesting to see what happens and um, no doubt with his CV given his record over recent years um, I'm sure there'll be some interest so we will wait and see uh, last piece of news involves Arsenal and Arsenal are investigating um, a report of anti-semitic chanting um, at the game against Spurs on Wednesday now of course I reported this last week um, involving Chelsea um, and it's not good. If this has happened, if it gets proven, um, then that's not what we want within our club. Um, we're better than that. And, you know, interesting to see whether these reports are true or not. Um, but of course, Arsenal are doing, you know, what all clubs will do at this procedure, which is to investigate and to see whether anything has taken place or not. If it has, then I hope the people responsible are caught and um, they are punished accordingly because um, there's no place for that in uh, football society in general. So there we go. Um, that is it for today's UFF Daily sponsored by Football Flash. Links are in the description. Until tomorrow, I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.